Sorry, Coach. 84-78 with Evansville tonight. Uh, you come all the way back from a, what I believe was a 12-point hole. Uh, just can't get over the hump late after they, they retake the lead. Was it, was it just one of those strange nights with the ebb and flow and the back and forth? Yeah, I think the ebb and flow, you know, we, we've talked about it. I, I like high volume fouls. I like, you know, the new emphasis with hand checking favors us, and it, and it always will and always can. So I like that. Uh, it stops the game, it provides some stoppages, and with that, a big part of that, we, we missed some free throws. That was our Achilles heel. We're plus 15 on points off turnovers and second chance points. We turned the ball over six times in a high pressure packed game. Turnover six times in this kind of game. So that shows we, how, how smart we played. The points off turnovers, the, the points off second chance points, shows how hard we played. It was just some front ends, you know, because as it didn't really get to 12, it's more like four or six. Or maybe you're not down four, or maybe you're up two because you're making some free throws. And, uh, you know, we've, we've told the guys, keep your heads up. Uh, we've learned and grown with these two opponents, very similar type teams. And, you know, it was turnovers before, so we learned. To come in here and we turned it over six times. Um, and uh, that was big, you know, I think, uh, you know, you'd love to say, Boy, as well as Mitch Patton's playing, he comes off a 26-point outing against some grown men. You know, I just know what he would have done here, but you know, he wasn't. And uh, just to stand back in his first college start, you know, not even be Thanksgiving. He played pound for pound against the Valley team and, and showed. He showed himself and his teammates that he's, you know, what he's done all fall. Now, a, a play that I really thought w was telling and, and indicative of your effort tonight was Donovan gets a steal off the point of the press here underneath your own basket, lays it in, and that really kind of ignites you. From there, Ian kind of takes off. Uh, talk about just how that energy can, can affect your team, and, and getting a, a quick basket like that and getting an easy bucket can, can change things. It can, and I, I'll be honest, when you play these early season games, you prepare all summer, you know, and you play the game, whether it's Utah Valley or this one, played this game a lot, and, and the press was always in my mind to be a big part of it. It's hard to press when you're missing front ends, and it just not only does it set the energy out of it, but you're kind of playing in transition after you just did something well. We just drove the ball, or we just pounded the paint, we just did something well, and didn't really get the fruits of our labor, namely in points on the board, but setting a press. You know, I think that can bother them. It did. It, it did, and uh, you know, we wanted to do that to a young team, but. Um, you know, foul trouble, then that negates it, so you can't do it. And certainly free throws is, is the press's best friend. Now, lastly, that, that last 20 minutes was the Ian Childs that we saw two years ago and that you saw in Italy and, and hadn't shown as much in the preseason and, and in the first game. Uh, what was different about about his demeanor tonight and, and his game that really got him going for a career high? You know, again, I thought it had to do with us in our six turnovers. We got good quality shots at the point of attack. And, and for him, it's it's not necessarily handed off to him and going to the set defense. You know, we want him to get the ball on, on closeout reversals and, and be hard to guard where guys are taking a running start at him, trying to guard him, and, he, and he's just, he's too good off the dribble. Um, Khufu the same way. So they fit how we play. You know, I thought Marcellus did his role. He, he did a good job defensively. He was on the glass again. And, uh, you know, it was there. You know, free throws was our Achilles heel. All right, thanks, Coach. Thanks.